Hi guys, in this video we are going to go over percent yield. We are going to be using this worksheet that we got in class. If you are absent, you can uh, pull it up on the website. You can print if you have a printer. If you don't, just pull it up on your phone or your computer. You can just solve on another piece of paper. Uh, in this video, I am going to be going through the basics on what percent actual and theoretical yield are. And we are going to solve problem number one. For your assignment, you are going to finish the remaining questions on here. Okay, so let's get started. So the formula that we're going to be dealing with should look a little familiar to you from things that we do all the time. So percent yield is equal to the actual yield over the theoretical yield and how do we make that a percent times 100 okay so what in the world does any of that mean so the actual yield could be compared to what you actually get on a test or a quiz the theoretical yield could compare to how many questions you could have gotten if you got a perfect score so if you got eight questions out of 10 correct, that's an 80% on a test or quiz. What we're gonna be doing is not looking at test scores, we're looking at if I were to ask you to put a couple of reactants together, produce a product, could you actually get the amount that you should be able to get? So we're gonna look at this. Unfortunately, we're going to have to do it all through problems. If we were in school, we would be doing one of these uh, labs probably today um, and going through and calculating it out. But that's okay because we can do it just through uh, problems on these worksheets. Okay, so the actual yield when we look at that. So I'm going to switch pins just to kind of keep things straight. Okay, so actual yield. For that one, this is what you actually get in lab. So if we were um, doing a lab and we were making those s'mores that we've talked about before, and we got the box of graham crackers, remember back, that's our limiting reactant, and we should have been able to make 20 s'mores from our box. But let's say somebody got hungry and ate some, we dropped some on the floor, some were broken, something like that. We might only be able to make 18 instead of 20. So things happen that can prevent you from getting a perfect score. Actual is what we get when we are completely done with the lab. Theoretical, this is what we should have gotten. Okay, this is what we should have gotten. The way we figure that out is we use our BCA tables. And this one is always calculated. That's key. That one is calculated. This one is done through lab. Okay. So if we're talking about those s'mores, instead of getting the 20 that we should have gotten, we got 18. So what we would do is we would take those 18 s'mores divided by the 20 s'mores times 100, and that would give me my percent yield. Hopefully that kind of makes a little bit of sense. Uh, all right, so let's do a problem and hopefully that can help you guys out a little bit. All right, change my paper out. Okay, so let's look at problem number one. Write down our balanced chemical equation. All right, so we're on problem number one and its equation is lithium hydroxide plus potassium chloride 
yields lithium chloride and potassium hydroxide. All right, if you look this over, you should notice that it is um, completely balanced already, so we're good to go with that. Okay, so if we look at problem number one, it has two parts to it. Let's focus only on part A. Okay, so part A says, I began this reaction with 20 grams of lithium hydroxide. What is my theoretical yield of lithium chloride? Okay, don't worry about part B yet. So we need our BCA table. Okay, so we've got that. And what are we given in the problem? Right, we are given that we have 20 grams of lithium hydroxide. So knowing that, think back to everything that we've been doing. What do we need to do? Go ahead and solve as far as you can and then catch back up with me. All right. So I am going to figure out how many moles that is because remember in here, I can't put grams. I can only put moles. So the all right, so this is 23.91 grams of lithium hydroxide. Molar mass off the periodic table is that is equal to one mole of lithium hydroxide. All right, we do our math and we get 0.836 moles of lithium hydroxide. All right, so where does that go? That is one of our knowns, lithium hydroxide, so I can put this here, 0.836 moles. All right, so what else do we know? Well, we know both of our products are going to be zero. Okay, we don't have any because we haven't made anything yet. And we do not know anything about KCL. Now, if you look in the problem, they don't mention it at all. They also don't mention the potassium hydroxide. So we can actually just cancel those out and not worry about them. Okay, so the other thing we know is we know our molar ratio. There's an understood one right there. So this is gonna be minus one X minus because we are going to be decreasing the amount of this as the reaction goes on. This one's going to be a positive X because it is going to be going up as more and more is being made. Okay, so this one's pretty straightforward because we don't have anything to multiply. So if this is 100% used up, then this would go to zero, which means my X is 0.836 which I can plug into here, which means I made 0.836 moles of lithium chloride. But the question asks, what is my theoretical yield? So that's not my final answer. So I need to figure out how many grams that would be. So again, solve it without me. 0.836 moles of lithium chloride, every one mole of lithium chloride. When I look at the periodic table, I get 42.39 grams of lithium chloride. All right, that comes out to 35.44 grams of lithium chloride. All right, still not done yet. This right here, this is my theoretical yield. Okay, that is my theoretical. That is what I just calculated. That is how much I should be able to produce of lithium chloride, theoretically, assuming no one spills anything, nothing goes wrong, everything runs perfect. Theoretically, I should be able to make 35.44 grams of lithium chloride. But in reality, I did not. So if I look back at the problem, it tells me that um, 
for part B, sorry, for part B, it tells me I actually produced six grams of lithium chloride. I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty bad. All right, so if I've got six grams of lithium chloride, it's how much I actually made. Our formula is actual percent yield is equal to actual over theoretical. Okay, so I've got my actual over my theoretical. Okay, multiply, oops, sorry, I forgot, times 100. And that is going to give me 16.93%. Oh, that's not very good percent yield. That is the correct answer, though. Um, if we were really doing this in lab, so if we were doing the lab that we were going to do, probably today, um, I would have you go back and look and see where you went wrong. Something's wrong with this. It could be as simple as whoever did the original measurement measured wrong. Um, you could have actually done the lab perfectly, but your data was incorrect. Um, you could have spilled. There's so many things that could have gone wrong uh, with it. And one of the things that percent yield can do is it can help you to see if you went wrong, because you should be able to get a really high percent yield. Um, you don't always get 100, though, because in real life, things do get used up in different ways, get spilled, get not completely reacted. There are things in real life that occur. Um, but 16% is pretty horrible, almost 17. Ugh. All right, so recap. Percent yield is equal to our actual yield, what we actually get in our lab, divided by theoretical yield, which is what we should have gotten. So we take what we actually got, divide by what we should have got, times 100, and that will give us our percentage. So as you go through the remainder of these questions, make sure you pay close attention to exactly what they're telling you and what they're asking you. Because sometimes they might just ask you for only the theoretical. Um, they might give you the actual and theoretical and just ask you for percent yield. You really just need to look and see what you've got. As usual, I'm here if you need me. Thanks, guys. See you later.